Welcome to this Wood City Collector presentation. I'm Paul, and in this video, it's uh, inspired by a new channel I subscribed to recently, Red Trucks. He collects nothing but fire vehicles, fire trucks, fire chief vehicles, anything and the like. And it's pretty, a pretty good, got a pretty good, uh, got a pretty good collection. And recently, he did a video on his on his fire chief cars, and that inspired me to get my to dig my fire truck box, my fire vehicle box out. And show off my fire chief vehicles, which I'm gonna count anything that's not a fire engine as a fire as a fire chief's vehicle. Some of them are marked fire chief, some of them are not. We'll just randomly pick from left, to, uh, randomly pick some, and we'll take a look at them. This is a Hot Wheels, of course, it's upside down, a Mustang GT Concept in Grandview Fire Department livery. The non-mint ones like this are going to be thrift store finds. The mint ones, for the most part, are blister pulls. It's a pretty neat one. I don't know why you want a Mustang, but they got a Mustang. We've got this here no-name made in China van. It's a fire department van. It's sort of a, I don't know, European van, I'm going to say. It looks European. Fun stuff for kids. Okay. So this fire truck, this fire van. Then we've got another fire van. We'll get the we we'll get the junk out of the way. Another tiny little made in China fire van. So fire it says rescue fire department on the top. No interior. Blue glass. Half plastic, half metal. We got this funky looking Hot Wheels thing. It's the does it say what it is on the base? It's the HW Pursuit. Hot Wheels fire department. Sure, we we'll get to the fire fast. We have this jet engine on the back. Number 70. A couple more trucks. The Matchbox 2016 Ford Interceptor Utility. And a beautiful fire department livery. Bolt bar on the front. Lights on the top. Gold interior, which is probably part of the gold part on the side of the truck. Nice looking livery. I'm still waiting now that they have the Green Light series. For them to license my city's fire department, I should have got out the patch I have. And uh, actually, I might be able to grab that. We'll give you something to look at. Here we got this here, Jeep Cherokee. In the River Valley Fire to Re Fire Rescue. Smoke window, smoke light bar. Nice wheels. A Maisto Ford F-150 SVT Raptor. In generic fire truck livery, fire department. Nice detail, Ford in the grill work. Tail, uh, headlights, no tail lights, but there are, there's Ford badging on the back. So that's the end, the trucks. Then we'll go with the newer stuff. We'll work our way to the older the older cars. We have a non, oh, another one of those non uh, uh, fire chief stuff, but it's the hazmat team response vehicle in the, in the uh, fictitious matchbox hazmat livery. There is an interior to this. It's very dark windows. And uh, nice hazmat vehicle. Now I got a matchbox. Yeah, I'm gonna read that. Ford Crown Victoria, I think. Yes, Crown Victoria. In matchbox fire department. This is a fire chief. It's the older casting with the separate light bar, which is pretty cool because fire trucks should have red light bars. Not not, not bad. Blacked out wheels. A more modern Hot Wheels. 96 Chevy Impala SS in the Hot Wheels Fire Department, I believe, yes. Number 68, because Hot Wheels was done in 68, and they like that. Black interior, blacked out wheels like they should be, because these are, utility, these are utilitarian vehicles and nothing to write home about. But this one's a bit special. The BMW M5 Police in sort of a European fire-looking uh, livery. Fire in, uh, forward and backwards on the hood. Got the Chevron, uh, the uh, sort of safety striping on the side. Sort of a British sort of looking badge and whatnot. We've got a real toy. I believe it's another BMW. In fire department livery. Fire chief. Separate light bar. It's a little crooked. Number 23. White interior. Chrome plastic base. One more in the... Uh, now the front crown, uh, 20, uh, 20, oh, yeah, 2006 Crown Victoria in Max Box County Fire Chief. Nice little car. Who doesn't love a Crown Vic? 
Throwing it way back, the 51 Hudson Hornet. Unit one, matchbox, that, no, no, no. Da, 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 da. Can't read that. So. You might be able to read that, but I'm going blind. Fernando Valley, possibly, department. Pretty nice, who doesn't love a Hornet? <sighs> Then we've got a, another a Ford Police Interceptor in, whoa, official something vehicle. Why is it not? Uh, anyway, pretty cool. Should have got my magnifying glass. Cause I'm going, like I said, I'm going blind. Then we've got some old ones. We have a Kidco key car. Doesn't tell you what kind of car it is. I don't know why it has a giant bumper on the front. But as a fire chief, the lights have gone bye-bye. If you don't know, the key cars have this little plastic do doohickey you stick in the back and you shoot them across. I believe it's a key car. But it's the thing you shoot it, you can shoot it across. Then you've got a Matchbox Series Mercury. The stickers are still somewhat in place. The driver's lost his head, but the passenger, the passenger's there. Stickers not so much on that side, but it is what it is. We'll go with this one last. We got a Hot Wheels in the Fire Chief, number five. Also have, I believe, the police one that goes with it that matches the casting and the police livery. And last but not least, the Mercury Cougar XR7 Corgi Whiz Wheels. Now, I don't know. I know some Corgis only had stickers on one side, and that sticker is... Somewhat there. Did this one have stickers on both sides? I'm going to guess it probably did because that would look weird if it only had one. But uh, it is what it is. It's a survivor. This has been uh, the my collection of fire chiefs and non-fire truck vehicles. Remember to check out red trucks if you're so inclined, if you like your, if you like your, if you like your fire truck vehicles or your fire trucks. And uh, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I know I screwed up a bit, but I don't care. I do it in one take as long as I can get the intro correct, which actually took a couple times because I screwed up a bunch. But it's the holidays, or it's been the holiday season, and I'm kind of tired from doing stuff around the house. As always, you don't you actually don't want to hear me complain, so as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, goodbye.